um, we're, we're a partnership, so Brad, Brad will be speaking as well. A um, little bit nervous. Uh, I'm Steve Wheelhouse. Um, I'm a pretty simple guy. Um, <coughs> I communicate best when I keep my sentences short. I'm sure you're all aware of the, uh, the KISS principle, which is uh, keep it simple, Steve. <laughs> I love what we do. We're a boutique engineering and construction consultancy. We help deliver high quality engineering and construction outcomes for healthcare organisations, Commonwealth agencies, project managers and property developers. Uh, we're smart, dedicated and nimble uh, and we care deeply uh, about the results that we achieve for our clients and we have a passion for getting our projects right. Uh, these projects could be uh, any of a, a large number of uh, office blocks uh, or computer facilities or they could be healthcare installations or other engineering projects that we deliver. Uh, one of our clients uh, recently said of us, as uh, James said earlier, uh, that Barmco Mana provide the DNA for a building and our perfect project is one where we see that DNA uh, developed uh, through the design and construction phase and into operation. Um, we're uh, ho hopefully uh, growing and we don't anticipate we're going to be in the micro category next year. We're, we're recruiting at the moment and if there's, uh, if there's any um, dedicated and driven engineers out there who think they can show uh, a couple of old dogs some new tricks, uh, they should give Brad or myself a call. Um, need to thank a few people. Uh, Leah, who's our uh, business development manager. Um, uh, Jenny, Jenny and, and Julie, who've become uh, widows to our pursuit of engineering excellence. Um, uh, Trent, Trent and Andrew, who are the next wave of engineers. Uh, uh, Hallets and uh, Profound Productions, who get our numbers right all the time. And uh, I agree with what Karen said earlier, you need to know what your numbers are. And our, to our clients who, uh, as Andrew said, showed faith. And, and that's a really important aspect. And also to uh, the Telstra Business Awards uh, for providing this fabulous opportunity. Uh, I could go on, uh, but Brad has some things to say as well. Wow. <laughs> this is our second year at having a go at this, and, uh, and we've finally been able to bring home the silverware, which we're very proud of as an organisation. Uh, we were impressed very last, last year by this event and the, uh, the scope and the talent of the businesses that were represented and by the level of energy and innovation that uh, is present in the ACT small business sector. If you look at the statistics, you'll see that uh, in excess of 90% of businesses here in the ACT categorise themselves as small businesses. So uh, it is a very vital, important part of our city. We'd like to thank Telstra for uh, its support in not only recognising the energy and innovation that's here in the ACT, but also for encouraging it through these awards. It is especially encouraging to see, receive this award as a discipline such as ours, which is engineering and building services, often so invisible until something goes wrong. And I'm sure our lighting guys and our sound guys up the back could uh, identify with that tonight. Barmco Manor grew out of a one-man garage operation in 1998. Uh, that's what we'd like to tell people, that there's a similarity between Barmco Manor and the Apple Corporation, that we both started in a garage, but uh, I owned the garage. Uh, it has now had full, four full-time staff and a part-time business development manager, as well as contracted financial support staff, which we can rely on 100%. Our clients are drawn from the private and public sector, many of whom are our return business. Our projects vary. The man in the street may think office buildings, but uh, they'd be absolutely correct. But our expertise goes beyond that. Uh, we're involved significantly in hospital facilities here in the ACT, as well as laboratories, and our projects become as specialised as the Australian Federal Police dog handling facilities over at Majuro. Two Barm Kamana facts that I want to leave you with. We estimate now that one in 10 Commonwealth public servants here in the ACT reside in a facility which has Barmco Manus DNA on it somewhere. 
Also, if you've been to hospital in the last three years or visited somebody in a hospital in the last three years, you would have walked through or used the services of a Barbican Mana project. And we don't do just what's expected. A very important part of our ethos is innovation and long-term facilities planning. A good example of that is our environmental impact that we like to leave on some of our clients. The Department of Human Services at the Louisa Lawson Building in Tuggeranong put enough faith in us, along with a couple of the contractors on the site, to develop a set of environmental screens where we take energy and water information and translate it into easily understandable statistics for those who occupy the building. Another passion of Barmco Mana is to drive innovation and engineering through its mentoring programs. In 2014, we launched our mentoring scheme with funding assistance from the ACT government. And we look to continue to with that program in this coming year. I'm sure you realise that it's not a one-way street where the next generation of engineers can provide helpful insights to changing technologies that can only benefit our partnership. Once again, thank you very much for Telstra, and we really are just overjoyed to be here. Thank you.